Have you ever found that perfect song for your video, but you hated the drum beat or maybe even the singer? Typically, you'd have to have access to that song's stems, which are just individual audio tracks of the instruments used in the song. Luckily, DaVinci Resolve 19 can fix that problem. This is a studio version only effect, so if you are using the free version of DaVinci and you wanna know all the differences you get with the free and paid version, check out this video that'll be linked in the description. And remember, because we are adjusting this on a track level, if we drop any other song onto this track, it will be affected as well. To get started, make sure you select the track of the song that you want to adjust and then open up the inspector window and now look for music remixer and turn it on now we have options for adjusting the volume of the vocals drums bass guitar and other which other pretty much just means anything else at the time of me recording this it is in beta so hopefully there's going to be some future updates that will add some additional instruments so if perhaps the genre of song that you're using is classical and it features a piano and a violin you'd use other to adjust the volumes of both of those instruments together so here's the example song that I'll be using. Well, I gave you all my love and I gave you all my trust and I gave you everything that you need. Here's what it sounds like with just vocals. Well, I gave you all my love and I gave you all my trust and I gave you everything that you need. That you need. You don't have to just mute the instruments. You can also adjust the volume of them individually as well. And if you don't like this view of editing it, you can always click on this icon here to pop it up in a separate window. You can also make each audio track a separate instrument stem for even more detailed editing. Unfortunately, DaVinci doesn't allow audio effects to transfer from compound clips, so it's either this option or just exporting each track as a separate file to put back into the edit. But now that we have separate audio stems for everything, you may want to know how to retime the music so it hits just right. So check out this video where I show you exactly how to do that. 